Yes. Um, so welcome uh, to this monthly mentoring hour. Uh, this will be the final mentoring hour that we would be having for this current semester. Um, so during the summer break, uh, that's where that would be uh, May to July, we will not be having the mentoring hour. The next academic year would be beginning on 1st August 2023. So we will be resuming our mentoring hour uh, August onwards. Uh, however, we have a very important event coming up uh, in May. Uh, May 7th would be uh, when we will be having our graduation day. Uh, so uh, the uh, live stream link for this event uh, will be posted in the main auditorium in Google. So uh, please do join in you know, for online. You can join in online uh, for the graduation day ceremonies. Uh, but yeah, apart from that, as for the mentoring hour, uh, that will be we will resuming it uh, resume it August onwards, uh, and um, yeah, those were just uh, some preliminary announcements. Uh, so we will get into our uh, mentoring art. So this you know is your time. Uh, you can feel free to ask any questions that you have uh, from the Bible uh, regarding our Christian walk, uh, regarding ministry maybe. Even if you have any doubts that you would like clarified uh, from the topics that were covered during the semester, any question that you would like to pose, uh, you know, uh, we would love to answer. The pastoral team is here, and um, we would like to help you with any questions that you have. So uh, over to you. This is your time. Uh, yeah, please go ahead. Anyone would like to start off, get the questions going? If you would prefer to you know, type it um, in the chat in case your audio is not very clear, that should also be fine. So Yeah, for those of us who are kind of joining in now, um, if anyone has any questions, you know, please go ahead. Any suggestions on students looking to further study theology, MDiv or MTH? All right. Uh, so I'm assuming that your question is, you know, after uh, this completion of uh, the course here, uh, if you would like to study further. Uh, and take up MDiv or MTH, uh, what are the options that you can consider? I suppose that is your question, uh, Sam. Uh, so um, could we have anyone in the pastoral team um, addressing this question, please? Yeah, I mean, if our students would like to you know, take up further higher studies, after completing their course here um, at APCBC, uh, what options are available to them and uh, what would be preferable, what would be useful and helpful? Uh, can we have anyone um, address this question, please? Uh, there we go. I think you're the only one who's done a master's in MD <laughs> divinity or theology. So why don't you handle it first and we can add? Yes, Pastor. Um, it all actually depends on what you are aiming for. Um, if you are doing the MDU or the MTH because you are thinking in terms of becoming a teacher or a lecturer, then I suppose you would need to uh, go to one of the institutions which are um, very um, theological and academic, you know, where uh, the focus will not be so much on practical ministry. Uh, it would be more on uh, learning the Bible in depth, um, just so that you as a teacher would have enough background material uh, to be able to, uh, you know, um, 
to be able to explain each Bible passage very, very clearly. Uh, but then also there are many who take up MDiv and MTH uh, with the idea of, you know, um, pursuing missions or, um, in, uh, you know, other other fields like counseling and all of that. So now for if that is what you're aiming for, then I suppose you would not really go to um, uh, to institutions that are focusing more on academics. Um, you would need um, maybe an institution where uh, more practical aspects are also dealt with. Uh, so it would actually depend on uh, which line you know the Lord is calling you to pursue. So based on that, I suppose you would be uh, you know deciding uh, which kind of an institution um, uh, to go to. Um, so uh, once you have more clarity on that, uh, maybe you know you could uh, contact uh, one of our faculty here at APC, and then you know we can maybe um, provide you advice. Uh, regarding what options you can consider. Uh, does that help at all, Sam? Yeah. Um, yeah, thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Pastor. It does. It does. Uh, but I'm also thinking of, uh, you know, uh, even for ministry, uh, mm -hmm. like the additional value that uh, doing MDiv or uh, <laughs> MDiv or uh, MTH brings, um, you know, after finishing your uh, BTH, like uh, both in terms of um, both in terms of uh, becoming more sound uh, and and getting clarity in your own uh, um, doctrine, as well as getting you know sound doctrinal knowledge, as well as uh, having clarity in terms of ministry. Like uh, does yeah. uh, like the added advantage or added value that MTH and M or MDiv brings? True. I mean, all of us should be equipped, you know, in uh, the Word of God. So we should have a uh, much clarity on uh, on our scriptures. So yes, uh, MTH and MDiv uh, will address that, and um, all institutions should be addressing that. Uh, I'm just you no. Know, I I I just meant that if you are uh, aiming for certain aspects of ministry which would be more uh, on the field uh, working among people then some institutions are more equipped for that they have uh, networking with different um, you know christian organizations and so uh, you know they, they they would send out their students for practical training to those particular uh, places uh, so they have an added advantage in equipping their students for uh, very practical hands on ministry Yes, so uh, on the other hand, there would be some institutions. Um, their focus, I mean, the goal with which they started their institutions uh, is mainly for academic purposes. So, uh, if that's the if so, if you're aiming to be a lecturer, then maybe you know you should go there because they have the added strength of having invested in uh, professors who are specializing in that area. So that would become more helpful. So uh, yes, all institutions will address this basic need of providing sound doctrine and equipping you in uh, the scriptures uh, all institutions will do that it's just that some specialize in in that and some specialize in uh, practical uh, ministry aspects so you would have to kind of uh, find out what the goal of that particular institution is and you know what their main purpose is uh, that kind of makes it easier uh, you know so you can you can choose the right one you know when you're making your decision yeah uh, does that help, Pastor Sam? Deepika? Yeah. Uh, sorry, Pastor Deepika, can I just add in a few things? Sure. Uh, yeah, Sam, uh, you know, after BTH, uh, people go into, they want to pursue further studies in, uh, you know, in the biblical field. They uh, do a BD, which is a Bachelor's in Divinity or an MDiv. Uh, so BD is basically, uh, you know, it has a, a, a the courses are more on uh, philosophy and uh, also on uh, various um, uh, fields related to theology. Uh, MDiv is basically you do a, your BTH and then you do an MDiv or a BD. So MDiv focuses more on missions. It's more missiological uh, studies. The focus is more on missions. Now, once you finish doing a BD, or an MDiv, then you go to do your uh, MTH. So you can do a MTH uh, uh, in theology, or you can do an MTH in Old Testament, New Testament, uh, in uh, or even in missions. 
So first you'll have to, uh, if you've not done, uh, if you've done a BTH, then you go to do a BD or an MDiv. So BD is basically talking more about, you know, uh, the subjects are more on theology and uh, exegetical studies and studies about uh, you, you learn a language, the uh, Hebrew or Greek, and then you you focus on more on the exegetical studies of uh, the various books in the Bible and more theology and philosophy related to the to theology. And once you finish your uh, BD, you can do an MTH. MDiv focuses more on mission subjects, but also has a little branch of theology. And also you can learn, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, uh, 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 either Hebrew or Greek, and then you can also focus on uh, exegetical studies, but basically the focus is on missions. Once you complete doing an MDiv or a BD, then you pursue an MTH, which can either be in various fields, Old Testament, New Testament, uh, it can be also theological subjects or in mission-related subjects. Yeah, thank you so much, Pastor Selena, for that. Uh, Sam, does that uh, provide some clarity on this? Lots, lots. Um, thank you so much, Pastor Selena and Pastor Deepika. Oh, yes. uh, still helps. Uh, one last thing is uh, probably um, maybe not in today's call itself, but um, some if if there is a few recommended institutions uh, from APS that you know one can look further into research about the institutes um, if there are some names uh, that can that list is somewhere there uh, recommended for bible college students if who are looking to further study uh, and uh, we could we could do the research but uh, some uh, you know uh, aligned uh, aligned institutes uh, that would also help but thank you thank you this this uh, for now it it does help thank you so much thank you sam um so um, if anyone else has a question, you know, please do go ahead. Uh, it could be just any doubt that you have from the Bible. Uh, it could be regarding uh, Christian ministry. It could be regarding our daily Christian walk. Any questions that you have regarding uh, that? Um, even if you have any doubts regarding any of the topics that have been covered so far this semester, uh, any questions at all, uh, please go ahead. This is your time. And uh, we are here to help in any way that we can. So yeah, please go ahead with your questions. Well, yeah, this is rather surprising. I mean, usually we are, you know, um, flooded with questions. Um, yeah, those of us who are kind of joining in now, uh, if you have any questions that you would like to pose, uh, please do go ahead. Uh, yes, of course, Pastor. Yeah, so, um, you know, we had just one or two persons uh, joining in a few minutes ago. So uh, if you would like to ask any questions, please go ahead. Uh, you know, this is your time. Uh, you can ask any question that you have from the Bible or from regarding ministry. Uh, if not, you know, uh, we will just go ahead and close with prayer. Yeah. So uh, anyone at all? Uh, if you're more comfortable just typing in the chat, uh, you can type in your question in the chat. Uh, so uh, anyone would like to do that? Uh, any any of you have any questions on your mind? Or you have any doubts that you would like clarified? <laughs> All right. Uh, OK, and in that case, you know, we'll close with uh, prayer. Yeah, let's pray. Lord, we just thank you so much uh, for um, helping us to be a part of this Bible college, for having learned so much throughout this semester. Now, oh Lord, we pray that you would uh, bring back all of these truths that we have learned to our minds, 
as and when we require it so that we can apply these things in our lives and grow in you and glorify you. So we pray, O oh Lord, that you would continue to uh, lead us uh, even as we uh, learn from you and even as we continue to grow in you. Thank you, O oh Lord, for this time. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Uh, so yes, then in that case, uh, you know, we'll have, have our classes starting at 9 o'clock and uh, we'll log out for now. You know, uh, all of you have a wonderful day. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, ma'am. Amen. Thank you.